Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and this is my art channel. Um, today I just wanted to invite you into um, my art journey. I have a art competition that I can put some art into and this, this show is kind of in the historic downtown area of the town I live and I'm really wrestling about what kind of art I should put in because I have had medium level success. The show is very saturated. A lot of people apply and I have had art accepted, but it's weird because the art that it, that's accepted oftentimes is not like my heart and soul art. So like this one actually right behind me, this is like one of my heart and soul paintings that I just like, it's a strong message. Um, and it's really the work that I want to be like known for. But what's, what ends up getting accepted is like this, this red flower one. That one was accepted. Meanwhile, this one I applied and that one also has a strong message and that was, that one was rejected. Um, this one over here rejected. Um, and what ends up happening with these shows is the jury's really, um, it's based on their just what they're feeling and what they like at that moment. And it's an interesting thing being painting things that aren't like vocal attractions or um, kind of like more like natural colors. Like I like painting a little bit more fantasy colors and you know, my style and stuff. But I just feel like in these more seasoned artist atmospheres where there's like older artists and they start painting in like more monotone colors. Um, sorry about all the distractions. There's kitties and there's kitty toys. <laughs> and I'm actually crooked. Oh, and now she's... <laughs> Owie! <laughs> Don't eat my toe. Anyway, yeah, so it's just such a, such a weird thing because when you get rejected from a show, it like, it really sucks sometimes. Like it feels like they're rejecting your best work and I know that I shouldn't take it personally like that, but it is like so easy to just take it personally. And I'm trying to figure out the strategy because it costs like, it costs some money to apply per painting. I'm only allowed to put two paintings in. So I'm like trying to debate, um, sorry, another jet and my cat's bumping the thing. <laughs> but yeah, so from the paintings, my first gut instinct that I thought would be accepted was this one. And that one I'm proud of. And I also think I don't know, that. I also think that it would probably be accepted, but it's it's still frustrating because like it's still not like my heart and soul paintings. Um and not really completely sure what to do. So I was also thinking of um like what if I resubmitted this little girl? But then that could get rejected again and then I'm wasting money. Or I was thinking of maybe submitting this one. So, but I also, like, it's so hard to figure out the strategy because I also think that the smaller the painting is, the more likelihood that it'll get accepted because wall space is, like, limited. So they're only going to accept a few bigger ones. So I also have, like, a really small one of, like, the rainbow on a woman's face um, that I could submit as well. It's just tough, you know? Um, so I don't want to waste money. I want to put work out that represents. Um, but I also want to get accepted. So that's like my predicament today. All right, guys, I decided I'm going to just bring this one. Like I'm just thinking as I talk about it and decide. I'm like, well, maybe I could bring one of my like popular warrior princesses or something. It's just so tough and there's also the risk of like it getting damaged like I thought about the biggest one I have but like I don't want it to get damaged and you know it's just stressful so this is my art journey <laughs> no oh my goodness this is a disaster but I need to put some wire backing on so I'm gonna utilize this this morning, the planes, the cats, the 
you've been like wrestling. Oh my gosh. So I just stapled on this side and the staples didn't go all the way in, but they feel sturdy, they're not wobbly or anything. And then I like to have the um I like to have the wire like right below the stretcher bar so that the nail doesn't go right here and it pushes the painting out more than necessary. So the nail go here and it could be kind of more flat against the wall. I'm just gonna use little pads for the lower corners. All right, now I'm just actually gonna put my name, on, name and title of it on the back just for sake of it not getting misplaced. Alright, now I'm just going to make sure it lays okay on the wall. It looks good. Oh, these cats, I'm telling you guys. Oh, they are so obnoxious this morning. Look at them. She just quit it. She quit it. Oh, children, <laughs> no. Hey guys, um, I'm just sitting here, up, like going over to my painting, and I'm just like, oh, maybe I should bring it, because if I if I did get a larger painting accepted, that's like so much bang for the buck. <sighs> should I put this one in too? I wasn't even thinking that one was gonna be done, but when I'm up close, yeah, it's done. I feel like it looks nice. Sorry, the lighting's not great, but yeah. Okay, guys, I think it's happening. I'm gonna bring this one as well. This is one I'm proud of too, and I feel like they look good together since so they were both accepted. People walking around, they could tell, like, oh, same artist. So I'm gonna put the name and stuff on the back of this. Nice. Um, this is like my first car video. I hope they both get accepted. That would be really, really exciting because having a bigger painting accepted is a big deal. I might as well try, is my thought. So yeah. All right, I'm here. All right, so I just got finished submitting the artwork and gosh, I have a little bit of anxiety when it comes to this. Competitions are stressful. <sighs> I think it's gonna be okay. But um, yeah, I got information. I got the little brochure for the, I didn't get this. So I just saw like a picture on the line, online and I found out the juror, about the juror. Um, her name is Patricia Hansen in Salt Lake City. And she's a watercolor and a watercolor painter, and she's dappled in some oils. And um, yeah, so it's just another artist jury, so we'll see how that is. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna find out by Tuesday, and I'll keep you guys posted. Gee, so my anxiety is like kind of like all over the place. Putting the art in, my mind goes to just different things of like just feelings of like doubt and insecurities and feeling not good enough and feeling like I don't want to experience how I felt before when I was rejected and the confusion I experienced and it's such a hard balance of like wanting to be protected but also like wanting to put yourself out there as an artist and just man it's it's hard to it's it's hard to be an artist i mean and then going in there i mean i saw some other people's works and they look it looks like they were putting like some ex 
like super beautiful work forward and it makes me think oh shoot like am I doing a good strategy with putting like like quicker works forward ones that didn't take me as much time but are still pretty but like they're not like majorly detailed like as other ones are oh it's just a lot of things to think about and consider so I think doing this little video journal is actually can help be helpful Hey guys, um, so I just got the email back for the results of the art competition and unfortunately both the paintings I submitted into the show were not accepted and I'm trying to process the feelings of it and I'm not really sure what I feel yet. Um, I did brace myself and not want to like put paintings in that were like my heart and soul paintings for a reason because I have a feeling that if I had done the ones that were like my babies even more so that they would have probably still been rejected I hate I hate to say that might like having that mindset but that seems to be a trend in this particular show because I guess the saturation is really high it's a whole the whole state but it just kind of sucks when you're putting your whole profession as an artist and you feel like you're failing at a basic task that an artist should be able to do is like to get accepted into an art show like and then it puts a little bit of doubt a little bit of doubt but I was trying to brace myself I was really stressed when I saw the email but yeah a little bit of doubt in regards to like what I'm painting and the direction I'm going and stuff but when I painted those pieces, I had a sense of confidence as an artist. I painted them 100% out of my head and knowledge of light and I added stylism and uh, creativity. I did colors I liked. I mean, the paintings were, they are, they're, um, they're good art. And it's not in my power whether or not people will see that. This is the real art journey. Rejection is just part of it. It sucks. But it's something that we have to get through. We have to put ourselves out there. We have to keep moving forward and just try. I felt it coming. I like, part of me didn't even want to apply, but because it feels like I'm just wasting money, just throwing money at it. I looked up the jury and uh, her art is beautiful. She does watercolors in a saturated manner to where the colors look very rich, similar to like oils, and kind of in a classical sort of traditional look. So maybe my art wasn't complex enough, but I really like that simplicity. We'll just keep moving forward. I'll paint now and keep my chin up. And try not to get discouraged. But I want you to know if you're going through rejection as an artist or whatever profession you dedicate your life to, that it's it happens, it's normal, it's part of it. You're still amazing. What you do is still valuable and you're still worthy. You're still worthy. Hey guys, it's the next day, Wednesday. Um, I found out the news yesterday that the art wasn't accepted and I'm on my way to go pick up the paintings. And I just wanted to give a few thoughts. So. I felt just off for the last time I uh, filmed. Then my husband saw that I was uh, beside myself and he suggested I call a friend. So I have um, one of my best friends is an artist similar to me and we have very similar personality. That actually really helped. She was able to talk for like an hour and I was able to really validate those feelings and she's gone through things similar both kind of just compared notes and just were talking about you know how about, about how these art shows go and 
and just different things and that really helped. I did the best I could with the information I had and the paintings I put in were ones that, you know, I thought it through. I thought through the quote unquote strategy and, um, and to just give myself grace. It, um, yeah, it's just so tough, you guys. It's so tough to get into these shows and gosh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go do it. In the past, I've put the ones that have like a lot of super deep meanings and like very personal, yeah. and those ones weren't accepted. So for this show, I thought I would maybe put the ones that were more so about like the aesthetics and the like the feel and like just. I want to see when she when she comes up. Yeah. Right where I don't remember him at all. Yes, he was gonna look at them for a second. Yeah, the, I actually thought of working more on it, but then I kept on looking at it up close. I'm like, well, I'm actually really happy with the way I uh -huh. uh, completed the um, that, tones. That one, has, that, one has, that one has a lot more depth. It has a nice focal point to it. This one, I would, I would like to see that. To have more, more depth. Yeah. yeah. Well, if I look at it this way, then I really do go into the painting. Okay, yeah, and I... So, I mean, it does have quality to it. It doesn't, like, it's not flat. So it does have a nice texture to it, a nice quality to it. So, and I just, just inverting it for me with the Yeah. Yeah, so I definitely, I agree. So you can even I see agree. things in this when you invert it. I can see a head and a face there. I can see a back. I see a lot of different things with that when you invert it. As to the other way, it doesn't, not that it doesn't make sense, but, the, but when I take when I see it this way, I, it has a better, it may have more meaning to it. Nice, I love that. I, I think it's cool how... Huh? The caves can be like switched in absolutely, direction. Yeah. Absolutely. You can switch anything around because it's a cave. But yeah, but don't be depressed. Keep on trying. So maybe in the future, I think my, my artist friend, she was like, well, maybe you should just put the ones that are just really like your heart and soul paintings, you know? It's just risky. It's just scary to put those in, you know? Because then is. they get rejected and it's like. Yeah, it is. And, and then, then you're the part of you and it can reject it. So that becomes an issue. Yeah, so I was like, well, maybe I'll do like less risky, <laughs> but then it still is hard, you know. Thank you. When you gotta remember, it's all very subjective. It's one person's opinion. Yeah. Totally you know? one person's opinion, and again, as Melissa just said, you know what? That same juror and judge who came in today, totally would be, would be totally different. Yeah. It just depends on the day and the time. I know when I do it, depends how you feel. It's like what mood you're in. Yeah, like, what you have for lunch. It sounds like what you and what you go to. I mean, it's what your eye goes to. It like, it's just it's pretty. It's yeah, it's it's like she knows what she's very proud. This is a really long. Yeah. yeah. How many? Like how many entries? You said you said hundreds, and then like maybe there was um, like how many accepted? You can only say half. Okay. So there's a lot of artists that didn't get any accepted. A lot of good artists. I mean, not that you're not good, but a lot of artists that have been entering for years. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and finish up my blog here. Um, I was really thankful to have the feedback when I went in to pick up my art. And I actually do agree with um, the, cr the constructive criticism about the larger painting that was pink. Because um, I was actually thinking it maybe wasn't done. Um, and I agree with him that it didn't, it was kind of lacking that depth. Um, the other one, he didn't give an answer to why it wasn't accepted, but uh, all I can figure is that 
it was based on like how she was feeling what what caught her eye that day and it was one person subjective interpretation so i'm just gonna try to leave it at that and be just continue moving forward and i have a like a huge mural i'm going to be painting of a cave so i think this kind of was partially why it was hit hit a little bit hard um and having a lot of self-doubt like should i continue doing these caves and um, I think in the future, I'm, I'm just going to be putting, I'm going to try to put my heart and soul baby paintings forward because I did have a little bit of regret about putting the ones that I was proud of, but wasn't like, like 10 out of 10, like my like baby painting basically. So I think that would be good for in the future because I did kind of have a little bit of re regrets of like, well, what if, what if I had put these other ones in and having put them in, if I had put them in, I would have known I known I really gave it my best shot. Um, that's kind of where I'm going to leave it at. Um, please don't forget to subscribe and follow along if you enjoyed this. And um, yeah, I just, I really would love to have you along and it's a journey. This is a journey. My, my art channel and I'm going to be, I post videos well, like this and uh, time lapse videos and uh, advice and stuff like that. So Thank you again so much for watching. Love you guys. Bye.